Welcome to Studio Chatter. How are we doing? We're doing so good, good you guys. We're good, good. We're just well, like talking about our mugs and how we pick them up and how beautiful they are. We have new mugs, guys. New mugs. White. Yeah. White. White. And, white. and they really show. Good. Well, I don't know if mine's clean. Mine already yeah, has a lipstick has stain. Lipstick on it. Yes. Cheers. Here's to a good show. Yes. Mm. Diet Coke. Water. What do you have? Water. Oh. I'm, I'm boring. One day I'm going to surprise you guys and there'll be water. <laughs> <laughs> How's your guys' week been? Okay. Who's <laughs> Beth Dutton? Yellowstone. Uh, of course, yes. So, I'm, so I will be racing home after this to catch the new episode. Uh, so I'm just, yes. I'm still catching up on them. Oh, I haven't even started it, uh, but I'm yeah. loving it. It's really you? awesome. Yes, yeah. I so, have. So did you get that at Reams? Enamored. I did not. Okay. I have the other one from Reams. Okay, so okay. pretty much everything that's available at Reams. You've I, purchased already. Bad. Yes. So did you order that online? I did order this online. That, that just, of I, and I, yeah, because I couldn't afford the boots I wanted, but you but guess. the t-shirt is yeah, super cute. Thank you. I, and of course, I did not get the four one one. No, it was graphic I'm tea. sorry about that. So funny. Stacey tells yeah, about the graphic tea. Tells about you guys know Angela Cope, one of our favorite fans, and she's co-hosted with us. Well, her, along with two other of her friends, mm-hmm. started a podcast. I've it's called seen this. Tell us. Mid-Season Moms, and it's for moms of teens and young adults because mm-hmm. there's a transition there that people don't talk about a lot. And so they yeah. had, like, a launch party, mm-hmm. and I won a shirt. You and did? You won awesome. it? I won awesome. it. And so it was so cute. They had food there, and... Their logo has lemonades on it, and so they had lemonade, Uh-oh. and they ran out, and it was so cute because one of them, said, I said, Chelsea, do you have more lemonade? And she's like, we really only thought 10 people would show up, and there were probably like 40. And I'm oh, like, awesome. oh, nice, yeah. how cute, and so just a lot of support, and so if you guys those are great, get out your though. smartphones. Can download I? the podcast app. Sorry. A okay. lot of my friends. I have it already. Yeah, yeah, a couple of my friends didn't even, like, how do you get listen to a podcast Mm -hmm. you just download the app and then you go into search and put mid-season moms and if you're a mom of you know teens and and young moms they're really going to try and get a lot of local people just talking about it so have you listened and so they did, started. So when they launched that evening, did they launch that evening? Did they record was that, that evening? First, yeah. They didn't record that evening. They just kind of told us about it. And they're, the next morning they were going to okay. have it live. Okay. Uh-huh. And um, they shared us with us some bloopers. <laughs> so oh, that was funny. Okay. So I just wish them the best of luck. Perfect. I'm yes, downloading it now, gals. Good job. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I how, how's your community. end of summer coming along? Um, it's been super busy. Like we are talking to Coach Parrish tonight. I've been helping out with the football booster club. Okay. So that's been like kind of super intense, but super fun. Like I love well, helping out and getting You were the head going. drill mom. So now you're, of course, on of booster course. club football. Yep. Yep. I just love to support my kids, yeah. and I think that it takes a village to help things happen, and yeah. so I'm happy to help Bo. Sorry, I wasn't going to mention his name, <laughs> but I'm happy to help the coach and my son. That's, That's cool. so awesome. So yeah, mm-hmm. it's been super fun, but we were actually able to go down to Tabitha's Way mm-hmm. and take a break from football and help her out with the backpack event, and it was really neat, you guys. About 8.30, we showed up, and there was just a line, a gob of families outside, and um, she had different vendors come up to educate people on different programs that are available for oh, people. Cool. And they had the families come in. They had a little card, a voucher, and then they had them stamped with each station they went on. And then they would turn that piece of paper in for backpacks for their children. Oh, and the backpacks were stuffed with school supplies. And then they That's also so awesome. provided hygiene kits that they could take home. And then the football players were in charge of helping give out all those and then also playing games with the kids. Tabitha's Way is such amazing an asset in our community. It is. Like, unbelievable. So, Wendy's amazing and yeah. one of our other favorites, Miss Utah. She was Dejana there and I got to take pictures with her. Involved she was well. darling mm-hmm. with the boys, took a picture with them, threw around the football with her dad. She's just so genuine. She's That's really awesome. awesome. So, do you know yeah. how many backpacks? That well, she said away? that they were planning on about 2,000 um, people, me? individuals. Wow. We did have some left. It started raining really hard, mm. and we're wondering if that mm. maybe deterred some families. Okay. But I still think we gave out hundreds of backpacks. She was going to come up with a number, but they were prepared for 2,000. Wow. That's awesome. So, really awesome. And they were going to send those up to, um, I think they have another location 
Mm. Yes, South and Jordan, American Fork. American Fork. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's going to send just a residual up there, but it was an awesome, awesome So the thing. other day I was at a chamber event. It was Chick-fil-A was voted Business of the Month. I love that place. I thought if you both... hit <laughs> status. I you did, did it. I finally did it. Yes. You ate enough Chick-fil-A. Welcome, Chick-fil-A. Welcome yes, Natasha. Thank you. Thank you. And do you status. know, I'm sorry to interrupt no, you, but I thought, I thought it was so funny that when you actually hit red status that you get invited they send you a little uh, pass you can that you yes. can get to go to headquarters yes you, you can didn't tell you me get about two that. free tickets to go to oh no you get five. Oh, five was it five, five? i knew yes. that it was I a few you. You where are headquarters go. like in Adam's georgia, georgia. Oh, yes which would be i great. should go i had so no we idea out there but then we get free tickets <laughs> To go through it, yes. which I bet free chicken nuggets inside. Oh, or well, something. I'm sure. Do you know what city there? It's okay. Atlanta, there? and so it's in Atlanta, Georgia. So, so I mean, I thought just hitting status was amazing, but I had no idea that Did you, you get, actually like, anything free that day. No, or, okay, you just, well, just but that was enough for me. I, you know, well, you will check your private rewards that other oh. tab because maybe you've gotten oh, something you now that you hit that. <laughs> yeah. We went there the other day before I, we went and saw Lion King. I took my 22 year old. Yay, yay. Okay. But we went to Lion, I mean, Chick fil A <laughs> before Lion King. The line was out the door. At oh, one it's o'clock. ridiculous. I could not believe that. That is I crazy. Thought, this is crazy. It's a good restaurant. It but their business of the month. Yay. So um, support so them. August and Wendy. Yes. So circling back around, Wendy from Tabitha's Way was there. Oh, she was. And I said, you met one of my dear friends, Angie Murphy. She's like, oh. She said it's made such a difference to have the football team there to help her. Really? Because just really the great. manpower. Yeah. I know. So they're incredible. hauling stuff around. I mean, the cleanup was just slick, having all those boys there. Yeah. It so was when good. I saw your post, it reminded me of one of the super moms that we know and love, Rachel Lane, mm-hmm. and how she's taught her three daughters service is mm-hmm. key. Mm-hmm. And it seems like we talk about that a lot more maybe with girls. I... You know, I, I don't, don't know. know. <laughs> so I really love that this was an opportunity for the for young the men. Boys. Yep. I think it's really important yeah. and to watch their interaction. Like they really were just engaged in the cause and what was going on. And of course they were like going to play games and a lot of the kids weren't coming through. And one of the boys came up to me and said, should we go ask their parents if we could bring them over and play some games with them? And I was like, I love this. It's pulling mm-hmm. them out of their comfort zone and so allowing cool. them a way to give back. Where they're comfortable yeah. with what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Cool. It was really cool. Well, cool. maybe maybe we should talk on that later on how to ex- expose the boys a little better. Yeah. Yeah. All That's right. That's a good idea. Well, coming up next on Studio Chatter, we'll talk about Summer Harvest. That's coming right up. <laughs> 